Genomic Medicine Institute, the Seoul Regional University, GMI SNU, was established in 1997 to honor Dr. Ki Young Lee, a pioneer of molecular biology in South Korea. GMI has been continually leveraging the advances in GS technology, next generation sequencing technology, to investigate the genomic architecture of uh, Asian population. We are also applying uh, the, this technology to understand the genomic and the transcriptomic uh, landscape of many types of cancer. Macrogen is a spin-off company uh, based on the research uh, in uh, GMI. This uh, collaboration led to a, a number of uh, key breakthroughs in genomics. Most recently, the completed the de novo assembly uh, and the complete phasing of Korean genome to understand the Asian uh, genomic architecture. GMI is very famous for its uh, academic activity. For example, the first uh, whole genome sequencing of microorganism called Gymomonas uh, mobilis, the first discovery of red fusion gene in lung cancer, or first de novo sequencing for this time. So for this reason, GMI has been the hub for the collaboration study in our university and university hospital. And also, uh, as many people know, precision medicine, personalized medicine, is one of the key issues for future medicine. For the past 15 years, Macrogen has accumulated a lot of expertise and experiences in human genomics. Macrogen Precision Medicine Center is expected to take a leading role in bringing uh, such expertise and the knowledge of human genomics into clinical arena as quickly as possible. Macrogen Precision Center is now mainly focused on cancer. Uh, one of the most important uh, projects is to develop a comprehensive cancer companion diagnostics using uh, targeted gene analysis. And another critical project is to develop a clinical test which can correctly detect uh, cancer somatic mutations in cell-free DNA isolated from cancer patients. We are doing uh, these projects in collaboration networks we have built with uh, major uh, medical schools and prestigious large uh, hospitals in Korea. Macrogen is unequivocally one of the leading providers of genomic analysis service in a global scale. As a global company, Macrogen is running many genome centers around the globe. In the U.S., we have three genome centers. Particularly, Genome Center in Rockville is CLIA certified, providing a broad range of clinical sequencing services. Currently, one of our major interests is on Precision Medicine Initiative. We are collaborating with many research groups for large-scale whole genome project in the U.S., as well as actively researching in three precision medicine initiative centers in Korea. I am currently doing several projects in GMI, including finding the long-term survivors, you know, uh, survival factors of long-term patients of glioblastoma. Glioblastoma is a type of brain tumor and is most common form of brain tumor, but at the same time, it's the most aggressive type of brain tumor. There are few differences between short-term patients of glioblastoma and the long-term patients of glioblastoma. And here we would like to find the survival factor for long-term patients. We are still looking for the factors and we are also doing 3D culture system. We are adapting the 3D culture system to test which drug is appropriate for the long-term or short-term glioblastoma patients. I'm currently working on the Asian Reference Genome Project, uh, which has been recently published in Nature. The Asian Reference Genome Project aims to create a population-specific reference genome that can serve as a template for um, the genomic sequences of Asian individuals. In collaboration with Macrogen, we have been able to create an Asian reference genome using the genomic DNA from a Korean individual. The Asian reference genome, like the human reference genome, will be continually improved to create the most contiguous and the most complete DNA sequence to achieve precision medicine in Asia. The population-specific reference genome provide the opportunity uh, to find uh, the ethnic specific uh, genomic variation with a uh, clinical importance.